day students and we will discuss lesson one in our subject community engagement solidarity and citizenship so module one methodologies and approaches of community actions and involvements so at the end of our lesson you will be able to explain the concept and approaches of community development explain the processes methodologies and approaches in applied social science related to community actions describe systematic social research methods in conducting community action and develop community action plan using participatory approach so in this chapter we will answer the following questions what should communities do to collectively act on the concerns which are meaningful and important to them what uh, steps should communities test to pursue their goals and interests and learning how to answer to this question in this lesson so every community undertaking is challenging and requires a combination of insights in the use of available tools and methods gathered from social science so this means that community needs appropriate uh, insights or appropriate knowledge and available tools just like if the community needs uh, machinery manpower services or health assistance in chatala it is very important when community members are able to assess those needs and able to identify issues that are not adequately represented in available data so for example if there is not enough uh, basis for applying a certain solution to a problem that is happening in a community the community members have or must have the initiative and ability to investigate and gather data in order to simplify a certain issues or problems there is no single approach to community development and as such initiatives and actions that are intended to address community issues and problems must consider different tools and methods that are appropriate to the context of the community so every community has different kinds of problems or issues and concern no? so the approach must be uh, varied must be a variable must satisfy the needs and concerns of the community so meaning that there is no single approach it depends in the concerns and the needs of the whole community it's very important for our community to know that there is no single approach to community development approaches no? as a review are referring to a particular solutions or methods applied in order to solve a certain um, issues so for example if a large community is prone to flooding during typhoons community members may be able to survey various approaches that will help listen flooding issues they will apply or test different kinds of approaches and at the end therefore they will uh, select the best approach as much as possible means that approaches are the solutions or the methods to solve a certain issues like uh, flooding next essentially community actions must give community members and leaders a voice in identifying framing formulating and implementing community actions initiatives it should be emphasized that when learning about communities and community actions and participating in a community actions initiative one should balance between getting involved while at the same time allowing community actors to participate and determine their goals so everyone must involve in a community action so everyone must also participate and collaborate uh, with one another no? so it 
also helps that every community members no pinapakinggan nila yung mga concerns uh, ng mga constituents nila no as well as the uh, community leaders no uh, they must hear the voice and concerns of their community members and for that they will formulate a distinct um, approach that will consider the best method in order to solve a certain problem so we already know that community actions involve approaches that is involves a planning process that will give community members the opportunity to voice their opinions okay so uh, i already stated a planning process which means that it is being a process in a long run or in a, a long duration of time hopes and suggestions also accepted so in order for the whole community to be integrated for a common goal objectives and the necessary actions uh, accomplish this task so this is to ensure that cooperation and collective actions are maintained along with the principles of participations and community involvement reaching a decision to initiate a social action process or a planned intervention is necessary to improve the social economic cultural and environmental conditions of a community as well as the quality of the lives of its members okay so the uh, being uh, a source of initiative no to um, conduct social action this is very important no? to improve uh, and in order for us to to um, eliminate hindrances lesson one concept of community development the concept of community development is not new the basic idea flows through American history from the time of early colonies to the contemporary period from whole house to HUD from the Doros Belt's Country Life Commission to revenue sharing and the new federalism. So the concept of community development, so the, the origin of this is by uh, the Doros Belt's Country Life Commission to revenue sharing and the new federalism. So in federalism, form of government, of U.S. Theodore Roosevelt, he was able to apply housing and urban development as a form of community development, despite of colonizations that was happening at that time. Community development practice emerged out of political, social, and economic ferment at the national and local levels in the year 1960s. Notably, the civil rights movement, which increasingly focused on economic injustices due to the intended and unintended consequences of federal and local policies. Concept of Community Development To be sure, there has been an eve and flow of community development and concerns that has varied from periods of inactivity to hyperactive times. In the most recent period, there has been growing awareness of the inequality opportunity that exists for minority groups, as well as concerns for the growth. Means to say that in our society, social inequality is very normal. Social in inequality exists, for example, in the distribution of the economic assets and income as well as between the overall quality and luxury of each person's existence within a society. 
So in a case of minority group, just like tribe or ethnic group, they are the one usually involved in the aspect of social inequality because, for example, an, an ethnic group communities have lower disability uh, free life expectancy at birth higher uh, infant mortality, higher unemployment, and they are um, illiterate. They are they know uh, they don't know how to be right. Uh, they also work in a higher uh, working stress and almost uh, double the rates of their uh, poverty uh, line or poverty condition. So this is against a background of widening uh, disparities in health and life expectancy between the wealthiest and the most deprived communities who are in uh, the um, minority group uh, belongs. So a review of literature uh, shows that most publications dealing with community development treat one or at best two or three of the major approaches to the field as it result may many uh, lay practitioners and students of community development from incomplete and sometimes incorrect concepts of the other approaches so indeed Community development is characterized by provincial and sometimes highly idiosyncratic views that create difficulties in developing a clear concept of exactly what the other approaches. So this means that in order for us to be able to understand the essentiality of community development, community members like for example the students, they should know the appropriate approach to community development through lifelong experiences. What I mean is everyone must involve in the process of creating a specific approach in community development. The United Nations defines community development as a process where community members come together to take collective action and generate solution to common problems. It is a broad concept applied to the practices of civic leaders, activists involve citizens and professionals to improve various aspects of communities, typically aiming to build stronger and more uh, resilient local communities. Community development is a process where community members are supported by agencies to identify and take collective action on issues which are important to them. So this means that it is very significant and essential for all community members and for the whole society to be supported by agencies or the developmental agencies. So if we are comp uh, referring to a community development uh, projects, agencies gives a uh, community financial support and social capital to ensure that collective actions in all issues and concerns are built in a progressive manner. Community development empowers community members and creates stronger and more connected communities. So this means that community development enable everyone to have a strong hopes and chance to solve issues and concerns. And through this, it creates solidarity and leadership. Community development is a holistic approach grounded in principles of empowerment. So by means of holistic approach, we can solve the full uh, conditions of our society uh, as well as the human rights, inclusion, social justice, self-determination, and collective action. Community development considers community members to be experts in their lives and communities. 
and values community knowledge and wisdom. That's why in every communities, it emerged a different ideologies and philosophical ideas that will help uh, the community to be in a resilient uh, state of condition. Community development programs are led by community members at every stage from deciding on issues to selecting and implementing actions and evaluation. Community development has an explicit focus on the redistribution of power to address the cause of inequality and disadvantage. So outcomes of community development. There are potential outcomes at both individual and community level. Children and families directly involved in community development initiate uh, may uh, benefit from increase in skills, knowledge, empowerment, and self-efficacy, and experience enhanced social inclusion and community connectedness. So through community development initiatives, community members can become more empowered such that uh, they can increasingly recognize and challenge conditions and structures which are leading to their disempowerment or negatively impacting their well-being. So what is not community development? Community development is not one of one-off events, consultation to inform goals or strategies, community advisory groups or committees, or leadership training. All these things could be part of a community development uh, strategy but by themselves they are not community development. So all we have mentioned, mentioned like leadership training, um, community advisory groups or committees, consultation to inform goals, those are only uh, strategies and part of the community action. So we must know that in order for a community development, uh, to be progressive, it must have efficient time frame and specific goals to achieve. And all those things that we have already mentioned, just like leadership training, um, consultation to inform goals, and other strategies, it must be put in a proper alignment for an effective approach. When to use community development? Community development is not always a suitable approach to use. Community development may be particularly appropriate. So to address social and community issues, community development is a good approach when you are trying to create change at a community or neighborhood level. So for example, if your goal is to improve community safety, increase community cohesion, reduce social isolation, or create communities that are better for children. So this may help. No? And it is a good approach when you are um, trying to implement a change or development in your own uh, society. Next, for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders communities, community development is a good approach to use with Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders communities because it can enable self-determination 
and build the capacity of local indigenous organization and grassroots community groups. For disadvantaged communities, community development initiatives are likely to work well in disadvantaged communities where they can alleviate some of the impact of disadvantage on children and families by building social capital and social inclusion. So, the uh, community uh, development initiatives therefore is being a guide in order for those minority groups uh, to have support or financial support and to be involved in the developmental projects of the government. Community development may not be the best approach if you already know what you want to do. If the outcomes you want to achieve and the activities that you will use are already decided, then there is no space for the community to determine outcomes and activities. Similarly, if you don't have the authority or resources to implement the community decisions. So if you don't have the authority or resources, you don't have the enough power to initiate community development therefore is not a suitable strategy so basically the true essence of community development is to involve everyone for planning mitigating initiating and implementation of goals in a suitable approach that is why we need community members to participate and also community leaders to implement and capitalize resources in a brighter decision. Next, community development may not be the best approach if you have limited time or short-term funding. Community development is a long-term process. Engagement and planning can take a year or, or, or more. It can take several years to build the capacity of community members to lead a project and ensure suitable results means that for a community development to achieve a specific goals it must apply into a long run it takes months or even years to achieve development to impose uh, projects not to develop a certain kind of, of areas that is being uh, devastated by the typhoons for example so as we all know that our government is a unitary uh, system of government that is the budget came from the national um, uh, down to the uh, local uh, groups or local system of government. So it is very important that we must have the enough funding and enough time frame. So in this um, kind of idea, we may be able to detect some changes and adjustment in planning and engagement process in order to implement the best approach as much as possible. So what can you do or who can do community development? It is important to recognize that community development is a practice with a well-developed theoretical framework. Community development practitioners should be familiar through uh, training or experiences with the theory, practice, and uh, principles of community development work. So, in order uh, for someone who can manage a community development everyone must involve and experience is the best 
uh, teacher no so um, if a particular uh, practitioner or a community development practice a practitioner uh, have the enough knowledge and training no? they may be able to formulate the best solution and the best um, arrangement no? in order for a particular approach to be uh, more effective. What is the rule of community development practitioner? So the key rule of community development practitioner is to resource and empower community. So they will encourage everyone to participate. They will encourage every one in the uh, system of government so it's either um, this done through a broad change of actions and activities that change depending on the context community development practitioners support community members whether uh, these uh, the majority of the members are in the poverty line or in the middle class all must be informed and involved through the provision of information needed to identify issues and plan actions is also the best way no, to uh, help is to practice an effective dissemination of information so meaning that every uh, community development practitioner must inform everyone they must disseminate the best information in order for uh, the community members to have the brighter knowledge with the uh, issues and concerns next a difference between community development and other approaches so the difference between community development and other uh, approaches so we have the ABCD or the asset-based community development so the asset-based community development is a version of community development that begins the development process by identifying and building on a community assets rather than needs okay so a community asset for example are are those resources that is anything that improves the quality of community life so asset includes the capacities and abilities of community members so a physical structure or place for example a school a hospital or a church so those assets include physical spaces, skills, local knowledge, local groups, and associations, and networks as well as financial resources. Financial resources is very important in such assets in order to operate and as well as they must have uh, local groups and national groups no? with uh, knowledge and skills to uh, manage such actions or such community actions Next we have the strength-based approach a strength-based approach seeks uh, to build or search to build on an individual strength rather than deficits This can be a good practice for a community development practitioner to use but by itself, it is not community development. Why? Because it is stated that the uh, strength-based approach is not community development because it is focuses only in a person's uh, strength. No? So, for example, in times of calamity, when there are times when it can be difficult to recognize a person's strength because those persons is in a uh, stress or in their distress and need 
So the best way is to apply strength-based approach to motivate them. And this can be a powerful uh, tools in order for uh, those individuals to mobilize uh, success in a community development. It only uh, builds uh, build up individual strength. So it is not a sort of a community development because it is only focuses in a person's strength or individual strength. So remember uh, that individual strength is one of the key factor of a strong community. So it may only build up individual strength but we must know that community is made up of individual descent and with the help of this uh, strength based approach we can mobilize success we can move those person in distress and to empower them to achieve or to adjust in such situation We have also the collective impact. Collective impact is an approach to addressing complex social problems. The collective impact framework consists of five conditions that provide a framework for collaboration between stakeholders. There are many similarities between community development and collective impact. And much of the difference or similarity derives from how the project is delivered. Collective impact is an emerging practice and there is ongoing discussion around the rule of community engagement and community leadership. Community development is always driven by the community. Community development is also understood as a professional discipline and is defined by International Association for Community Development as a practice-based pro profession and an academic discipline that promotes participate democracy, sustainable development, rights, economic opportunity, equality, and social justice through the organization, education, and empowerment of people within their communities. Whether this be a locally uh, locality identity or interest in urban and rural settings, community development seeks to empower individuals and groups of people with the skills they need to effect change with their communities. So these skills are often created through the formation of social groups working for a common a goal or common agenda. So community developers must understood both how to work with individuals and how to affect community's position within the context of larger social institutions. Community development as a term. It has taken off widely in Anglophone countries like US, United Kingdom, Australia, Canada, New Zealand, as well as other countries in the Commonwealth of Nations. It is also used in some countries in Eastern Europe. And with active community development association in Hungary and Romania. The Community Development Journal published by Oxford University Press since 1966 has aimed to be the major forum for research and dissemination of international community development theory and practice. The Commonwealth Nations The Commonwealth Nations is a voluntary association of 54 sovereign states. Nearly all of them are former British colonies or dependencies of those colonies. No one government 
in the Commonwealth exercise power over the others, as in the case of political union. Rather, the Commonwealth is an international organization in which countries with diverse social, political, and economic backgrounds are regarded as equal in status and cooperate, cooperate within a framework of common values and goals as outlined in the Singapore Declaration issued in 1971. There are complementary definitions of community development. The United Nations defines community development broadly as a process where community members come together to take collective action and generate solution to common problems. And the International Association for Community Development defines it as both a practice-based profession and an academic discipline following the adoption of the IACD definition in 2016. The association has gone on to produce international standards for community development practice. The values and ethics that should be underpinned practice can be expressed as commitment to rights, solidarity, democracy, equality, environmental, and social justice. The purpose of community development is to understood by the IACD as being to work with communities to achieve participate democracy, sustainable development, rights, economic opportunity, equality, and social justice. The Community Development Challenge Report, which was produced by a working party comprising leading United Kingdom organization in the field, including the now uh, the Community Development Action, the Community Development Exchange, and the Federation for Community Development Learning, defines community development as a set of values and practices which play a special role in overcoming poverty and disadvantage, knitting society together at the grassroots and deepening democracy. It is very important for the community development uh, learning to define community development and all those practices may have a better accomplishment in the whole society. Community Development Exchange defines community development as both an occupation such as community development working in the local authority and a way of working with communities. Its key purpose is to build communities based on justice, equality, and mutual respect. Community development involves changing the relationship between ordinary people and people in positions of power. So as we know that um, there is a discrimination between the minority group or the, uh, the uh, people in the poverty line. So uh, community development helps to uh, change this kind of situation so that everyone can take part in the issues that affect their lives. It starts from the principles that within any community there is wealth of knowledge and experience which is uh, used in creative ways can be channeled into collective action to achieve the community's desired goals. So collective actions like planting of trees, um, like sustainable uh, development uh, projects restoration of river or Pasig River. No? Those are uh, some collective actions that can be applied to achieve uh, the community's uh, desired goals in the present and in the near uh, future. Community Development Practitioners Community development practitioners work alongside people in communities to help build a relationship. No? So the 
mission or the objective of community development practitioners is to connect uh, themselves in the society in along with the uh, people's concerns and they will create opportunities for the community to learn new skills by enabling people to act together so they will also conduct uh, programs in order for the um, people to have the knowledge to overcome poverty. So community development practitioners help to foster social inclusion and equality, most especially in the minority groups. Key terms Community A community is often a geographical area. So, for example, a local government region or particular town. So, therefore, a community serves as a uh, well defined uh, society with unique characteristics. No? Community can also be defined based on shared interests, uh, shared goals, uh, shared identity, or uh, characteristics. We have the terms of consultation. Consultation is the process of asking community members with the use of survey. We can uh, immediately know the concerns of our uh, citizens or our uh, constituents or our con of community members in terms of um, survey, no? in terms of questioning and uh, collecting uh, data we're in uh, data um, it has the enough information and for that we can apply interviews or focus groups for their opinions or suggestions or preference on an issue so this is not participation in the community development since that it is only consult on consultations so participation comes a long run no? uh, after the consultation so consultation first and we have participation so what is participation in community development participation refers to the full involvement in leadership of community members so no one is left behind no everyone must involve in planning, developing, delivering, and evaluating community actions or initiatives. So, what is the main uh, reason for this? No? For participation to be uh, fully equipped with all concerns of the uh, citizens no? as well as the uh, ideas of everyone must be accepted 